Hey there, today I am sharing travel items that I will use in 2021. These are travel essentials that I got for Christmas. So take a look at them and see if you might need them or want them. If you're taking a road trip now or an airplane trip, these are for the airplane, for the car ride, and some of these essentials are for your carry-on bags. With even more travel restrictions, people are still flying or they're taking car trips or road trips to a vacation spot. If you choose not to travel right now, just pack these tips that I'm giving you and these item or ideas or inspiration in your back pockets for when you do travel. I'm a Houston Pilot Wife sharing tips to help you travel the globe without a worry in the world. Be sure to hit that bell beside subscribe and you'll get a weekly free travel tip video. I'm giving you a virtual hug for those of you who have canceled trips again or you're just waiting by the phone to see if your area is going to go on lockdown again. But we still can do the planning or dreaming. <laughs> <laughs> for Christmas, I got AirPods, which is the main thing I wanted. And I got the little case that it goes in. Now, I wear hearing aids, but on the airplane, the noise is so loud that my Bluetooth hearing aids cannot hear the in-app TV shows or movies. Most airplanes have their entertainment system with movies, TV shows in their app on your phone. So you can use whatever headphones you want. And I'm excited to use these um, AirPods. They are so smooth. You don't even realize they are in your ears. I am done with cords. Also, if you do have an airplane that has the back of the seat entertainment system that does need a wire or a cord, they are still giving out the little plastic sealed headphones that are brand new for you to use. So I'm not going to take my headphones anymore. Let me know in the comments if you have ever kept your wired headphones on and gotten up to go to the lavatory and you're like, Ugh! so embarrassing. The next gift that I got myself and my mom is Peeps. It's an eyeglass cleaner and y'all, it's so easy to use. I found these because um, my reading glasses needed to be cleaned every day and the spray that the eyeglass people gave me just didn't work. This is now a travel essential for me, especially for sunglasses when you get sunscreen on your sunglasses or water from the pool on your sunglasses. So take those. I also have taken eye cloths in the past and those are fine too, but this is just something that I keep in my purse and then one of them in my travel bag. And then I bought this before Christmas, but I haven't used this one yet. Let me know how often you wash your masks. I hardly ever wash them, but this lady is only on Instagram. And because I wear reading glasses and on the airplane, you're gonna be using your reading glasses a lot. This is the only mask that I have found that does not fog up my reading glasses. So I'll link her stuff below, but she's only on Instagram. These shoes are my newest travel shoes that I'm gonna have. They look European. When I do get to travel to Europe again, there is no um, wedge in them like a lot of little boots like this, but I have worn them probably six times through gravel watching wet, muddy soccer games and uh, in muddy areas, and there's nothing on the bottom. They are supportive. I have really high arches, so I really need supportive shoes. And this is the Echo brand. They are a splurge, but uh, I treated myself for Christmas. My mom got me this green utility jacket and the fur color is removable. It's anthropology. I think they only have like an extra small left, but I love the straight way that it hangs on me. It comes up to the very top of my thighs, but I'm going to link um, some other ones because I didn't realize how neutral a green is for travel. Black and white stripes, solid colors, even jewel tones look so good with a utility jacket. And especially my favorite, graphic tees. Oh, speaking of graphic tees, I also got this shirt for Valentine's Day. <laughs> I love a good theme t-shirt. Any kind of pun that can be intended <laughs> or anytime I can wear something that has to do with the location where I'm traveling to. Let me know if you want me to make a video about um, all of my graphic tees that I get. Um, this is another travel outfit worthy uh, top that I got. I don't know how to explain this, but it is so soft. It's almost like a pajama top, but I thought this was kind of modern and um, it had cool colors, but a good neutral green goes with everything. I also got this sweater. Um, I feel like I'm wearing drapes from Maria Von Trapp's house. <laughs> anyway, I love it and they are all on super sale. Remember one of my oldest videos and that is not to wear a beautiful creamy white top or jeans 
inside the airplane for your travel outfit. Save those beautiful pieces for your destination, okay? It's because of other people's stains and mistakes that I say that. And especially learning from experience, when you scuff your wheels on your white jeans or your white shirt when you're taking it out of the overhead bin in the airplane. Okay, for Christmas, my husband is so thoughtful. He got me a little shirt microphone. I'm not sure how it's gonna work, but I'm moving my office for making these travel tip videos. And I'm so excited to share that video with y'all in a couple of weeks. I've ordered one of those Sputnik chandeliers. Anyway, so I thought I would need a different microphone. So we'll see how that works. I know some of you have a YouTube channel and you like knowing my equipment that I use. So I will link that below. And I also got a gorgeous, office chair it feels like almost velvet and then we changed out the tires not tires the wheels of my office chair to like um rollerblade wheels we did that in my husband's office and it is so smooth going on carpet and wood floors you don't need any kind of protection now or a mat or something like that i got some brand new compression cubes because these compression cubes that i do love and i will still use open like that so I have to slide my clothes in so I got some Eagle Creek ones that are um, drop-in so I would open it all the way and you just lay your stack of clothes in there and zip it up and then for compression there's an additional uh, zipper in case you don't know what compression cubes are but I will link a video for that if you're interested in that kind of packing style I have hopes of making a video about the rolling method, folding method, ranger method, KonMari, um, all those kind of methods. So let me know if that interests you, if you even care about how you pack. If we can go somewhere, I'm just gonna be like, let's go, get in the car. I can wear the same outfit for three days. I'm so ready to travel again. This next gift I found on Amazon before Christmas, and I think they still have some left, is a toiletry kit for men. This toiletry kit for men is something that I bought for my father-in-law and my teenage son. It has liquids and regular toiletry items that you would need. Let me know if you call it a toiletry kit for men or if you call it that other thing, that dong something, dopper or dob bag or something. Anyway, make sure you take the liquid things out. They have an international one. That's the one I got my father-in-law. And in that one, they have dude wipes. If you have not heard of those, they're like wipes for men when they are going to the bathroom and they need a little extra something. And it's especially good when you're traveling and you're eating more food than normal or really multicultural food that your tummy is not used to. And we found packs of those by the antibacterial wipes in our grocery store, H-E-B, here in Houston. But they're not antibacterial wipes, they are for your body. And if you don't know the new rule from TSA during the COVID-19 pandemic, you are allowed a bottle of hand sanitizer up to 12 ounces now, and you can take an entire tub of antibacterial wipes, but that takes up too much space. So just split them up into little baggies, clean everything. Don't forget the seatbelt buckle. The next thing I bought or got for Christmas from my son was my Chihuahua Bites. It's a bright red, which I needed. I have the dark one that's called, um, no, I'm not really a waitress. <laughs> I like this bright red color for travel because it does mix and match with different colors and patterns and it is not maroon, so it's just a neutral color. And then my favorite neutral, I got it because I'm already out. It's a Tickle My Francie. And then this color that I'm wearing is a Rose by Dawn Broke by Noon. <laughs> I used to pack a travel size mascara and that company does not make it, it cosmetics in a travel size anymore. So I finally bought this one after I'd used their travel size one for almost a year. Um, it's the Sephora brand. It's not goopy, but the, the wand comes out with so much on it that it just layers very easily and uh, quickly to me. And then if you don't know about the Lancome a CILS booster, it's a primer for your eyelashes. I have straight, stubby, very fine eyelashes and it makes my eyelash mascara last all day. I love it and it's travel size. I'm still looking for a set of cognac colored boots. If you have one that has a low heel, let me know the name of it. Do not leave a link though or YouTube will ban your comment and I won't ever see it. 
I finally got the three pouches by Travelon. I like the sizes. If you're going to the beach or somewhere warm, I think these are great pouches to take like inside your beach bag. You know that I've traveled with this weekender bag and personal item bag and my newest one because of the bright light interior and tons of storage. But I still have my eye on the Vera Bradley uh, weekender bag that's peach colored. I just love the pattern against that peach. It's only on Amazon and it's super expensive. So I. I think I'm gonna pass for now, but keep an eye out on it. I got this last travel essential idea from my teenage son because he goes in the neighborhood with a speaker. So the reason I like this for travel is if you're going to the beach or pool or vacation, camping, this Bluetooth speaker is much more affordable than the JBL brand and we really appreciate the quality of it. I believe it's an Amazon Basics. If you are vacationing at a warm location, remember to take a bag to take to your pool that you can put your speaker, your cell phone, key cards, sunglasses, sunscreen in. I have a video that I will also link for you with some other tips to not forget. I forgot to tell you about my AirPod case. It comes flimsy and it's supposed to be that way. Make sure you choose one that has a grip to it, almost like your cell phone, because the AirPod, the plastic part or whatever that is, is very smooth and slippery. And I like that it has a, a carabiner hook so that it's easy to uh, grab. It's less hard it's less easy to lose your AirPod case. We bought our son stickers to go on his AirPods case, and then they also have some customizable covers like my purple one that I'll list for you. Anyway, thanks for your time, y'all. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to hug me back. Leave a comment below and say, hey, if we haven't met yet. Thanks for your time.